Hi everyone, today I'm back with a new video. So I wanted to talk a little more about my experience at the Korean Language Institute of Yonsei and discuss a little more in details uh, with you about what uh, the content and what I learned uh, in Yonsei as well as the book that I use at this time. So I mentioned in the previous video that I studied at Yonsei for five months. So in Korea, it's like two semesters, like one semester is two months and a half, something like that. So as I mentioned, I entered the level two and I did like level two and three there. So I'm going to talk about uh, what I learned during that time. So when I entered the level two, they just like uh, got new books actually for the new program and uh, this is like the first one so they basically have like two books like this uh, this is kind of like the first part of the semester and this is the second part of, of the semester so basically uh, when we have like uh, a middle exam in the middle so it will be basically one book and at the end it will be both book so as you can see here there is not in it uh, so at first actually there were no uh, colors because we just like um, they just made it so they didn't got the time actually to make like the final version with all the colors and everything because they needed to print it pretty fast so we were working on the four skills like which is like reading listening writing and speaking uh, at first Yonsei was known only for the grammar part and everything but they're, they're trying to develop more uh, everything now uh, at least when I studied there so basically on the two books that I showed you before there were like uh, topics uh, that we learn about with like new vocabulary and where we could actually use the grammar but we also had like on those book kind of uh, reading and uh, more writing if I remember right then uh, actually we got one uh, specially for the uh, sugi which is like writing and one also for the ilgi which is like um, reading but I think if I remember right on those books you can have like more speaking and uh, listening exercise so which is like based on the content of the lesson and uh, basically yes that was pretty good because I actually every time there were a new word or like the pronunciation is a little different from the writing uh, they made us like learn the right pronunciation so they gave us like the phonetic of it so it was pretty good so because of the boost it was pretty well done because every day we could practice uh, listening, reading, speaking and uh, writing. So we had exercises about like the grammar we just learned and also the vocabulary. So after learning new vocabularies and uh, grammar, the teachers actually ask us a question first and ask us to actually use the vocabulary, but also mainly the grammar we just learned. So it was pretty good because it made us like try to use what we just learned, but also uh, train us to speak. So for the uh, listening, actually, they were made us kind of listen to a small dialogue and on the books there were like questions about the content and ask us to answer questions about it to see if we understood the topic what they were talking about and things like that so it was like basically uh, what are they talking about they gave us like different example and also kind of tricky one like uh, is there talking about this in the uh, in the dialogue and you were like some pretty tricky uh, things on it so it was pretty good actually to made us concentrate to try to understand the content but also like um, because of the speed of the recording it was like not like real Korean speed but it was still like more uh, fast than actually the listening contents you could have really like I don't know if you did the topic test but if I remember right, uh, the level one and two, the listening and like the speaking part is pretty slow. So as I mentioned uh, in the beginning, actually in the middle of the semester, we had like a test that we had to do. So we were basically uh, trying to find out if we 
like understood and remember well what we learned uh, during the first part and uh, then at the end of the semester we have like a final one which is like more global from the semester so you have to remember every vocabulary and grammar lesson like you learn from the semester but also sometimes they give you like question about like previous semester so it was pretty good actually to uh, train us and see where we were so i just show you the level two books but like uh, uh in the level three because i did still didn't do like the same version the new version of the books uh i we actually use the old one um, now I'm pretty sure the books looks more like this for all level, but I'm not sure because I didn't check it out. So basically it's kind of the same, there was like a first one for the first part, but like uh, we had like a special uh, kind of training books and uh, it was training us like with the grammar, vocabulary, but also writing and listening and reading so it was pretty well done too but I'm pretty sure the new one are better actually so uh, same we had like for the second part of the semester same and then we had a special book for uh, actually um, reading so it was more long text and uh, really <laughs> more difficult words so it was pretty good actually to learn new words with this one and actually I uh, took like um, a special class so during my uh, level 3 I actually took like a more uh, two special class you can kind of take like two uh, class like to focus more on something so I took one to train my pronunciation so at this time was kind of good uh, but like now I'm pretty sure my pronunciation is bad and there were like this one for uh, the speaking so it was like more talking taking one uh, kind of like topic and we were talking about it and try to speak together so it was pretty good and the teacher actually gave us more specific sentence that we can use uh, while talking and speaking so it was pretty good so at the end of semester after getting uh, doing all the final exams you actually get a grade which will kind of tell you if you can go or not to the next level um, but uh, you also need to remember that I think it's the same at every language institute in Korea um, you need to attend at least 80% of uh, the class so you shouldn't miss more than 20% of the hour you had to do it and uh, I think there is also other like qualification um, something like that if you add like less than uh, for a grade you maybe go back to the previous level because like it's really when it's really bad it means you didn't like um, uh remember well what you learned before so yeah so you have to remember all of this uh, when you try to and uh, to go like to language institute in korea so after the level two i was able to go to the level three and as i said i uh i take like some option and also i ask um to have like a language exchange with one student at Yonsei that was learning French uh, so uh, it was really good because like um, we could train together and it was really useful for each other she was really interested in French and I was really interested in Korean so it was pretty helpful to do it together but if I remember right you can do it only from the level 3 because like you need to be able to still like communicate well in Korean if the other person is just starting the to learn the language so yeah you just check what kind of option and extra uh, activities your school is giving you I'm pretty sure it's kind of the same for all the school but yeah you just check it out so please let me know what you think about this kind of content or if you have any question in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe like and share and see you next time bye